Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we will be talking about playing up above the 12th fret, way up in the stratosphere. We'll talk all about how to get up there and how to play up there. So if you enjoy this video, please do subscribe to this channel and click the little bell for the notifications. Okay, so the first thing to know is that the body of the guitar meets the, meets the neck at the 12th fret. So once we go up there, then our normal thumb position can't be the same because we run out of neck. And normally we like to have our thumb behind the fingers. And normally we don't want the thumb to go beyond the index finger. Because if we do that down here, it really limits the motion of the fingers. We can't stretch the fingers wide apart from each other. And so we generally want to keep that thumb behind the fingers. Well here, what we can do as we move up, we can just go as far as we can with the thumb and then start to do this type of thing. And so we can go up. So if we have a few notes, then the thumb is now beyond the, the index finger, but it's as far as it can go and we can just play like that. And then we can come, come right back down. So that's one possibility. Now, if we actually are gonna be going up there and really getting up really high and also keeping on playing, then we can come into what we call thumb position. And thumb position is where you put your thumb right in the crook of where the body meets the neck. You put it there and then, and then you can stretch and get up there. Now you might have to lean forward a little bit, get your elbow around a little bit to do this, and that's fine. Um, but thumb position is how we play up in these things. So you put your thumb in the little crook right there, and that enables you to then move up there. Now there's a couple of different things that we can talk about here. First off is when you're playing really high, allow your right hand to come back a little bit. So if you're playing right over the hole like we normally like to do, if we're playing lower and the sound is very, very, very lush, um, well, if we play there, it's gonna choke the sound of the string. And so we wanna move back. As we move higher, we wanna move back along the, along the strings with the right hand. So as we play up higher, we can allow that right hand to drift back towards the bridge. And then back down as we move as we move down. So even just a little bit will help. Just let your ear be your guide. So that's the, the most normal way of playing up above the 12th fret is in thumb position. Now sometimes what we'll see happen, and you don't see this very often, but it's worth mentioning because we're talking about it, is that as we move up, then people will play the side of the thumb as a note. The side of the note, and it hurts. It hurts the side of your thumb. I think it's an acupuncture point or something because it really feels like something's happening when you, when you press down there, it's right into your cuticle. But you can press the side of your thumb and that is another way that people do it or as a harmonic. Um, with the thumb. So it's just something, you're not gonna really see that in a piece of music, chances are, but it's just something to know about. Playing up above the 12th fret, it does take a little bit of practice. It feels completely different. You're in a different position. Your fingers are coming into the strings at different angles. And so then the precision, and the frets are closer together, so the precision and accuracy you need to play right on the tips of your fingers is, is that much more important, especially with the, with the little finger you might find because it's going to straighten out, it's gonna be playing more straight than it oftentimes does, then you have to be very precise with the tip. And so maybe use a little bit more strength with it. Just play with it. But a little bit of practice goes a long way. I hope you've enjoyed this foray into the upper reaches of the classical guitar. If you have, please do subscribe to this channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.